Dobar Dan, as they say here in Croatia. And in this video, you're going to learn everything you need to know about traveling to Makarska. Makarska in the off season visiting a guy and this town is really like a second home to me so I could not start this video at the beach I had to start it here at the old town It's so beautiful here. There's so many bars that have uh, bashtas, which means, well, it literally translates to a garden, but it can also mean a place that just has an outdoor seating area. And the thing that I love so much about the old town here compared to like the old town in uh, Split or Dubrovnik, as beautiful as they are, but they're very like grandiose, so elegant and like overly accommodating to tourists. Whereas the old town here is a lot more easygoing, a lot more relaxed. Or as the Croatians say, Polako, which means slowly, like take it slow, go easy. And so this is just such a great old town because it's really easy to meet a lot of the locals here and make friends with people who actually live here and you really get a feel for what it's like to actually be someone living in this town. So in other places in the Balkan region, it's very easy to budget travel on like 15 to 20 US dollars a day. But I would say that here in Makarska and just in general in the Dalmatia region, it's a little bit harder to do that. Just for example, my first drink of choice is always a gin and tonic without ice. <laughs> and pretty much anywhere else in the Balkans, it will cost me maybe like three US dollars, equivalent to three US dollars. Here I've just ordered one gin and tonic, one, if I look at my conversion, it is $6.54 for one gin and tonic. The same goes with beer. In most other Balkan countries, you can spend like $2 or less for one beer, and here beer tends to be like a dollar or two more expensive depending on where you go. So in the past when I've come to Makarska, I've always stayed in a hostel, but this time I'm staying in an apartment. Ciao, Dobro <laughs> sam, hvala. Ah, how cute. Anyway, this time I'm staying in an apartment that's up into the mountains closer to the Biokovo where a lot of the actual locals live. And I feel like I'm amongst the people. So I thought I would share with you guys my apartment. So let's get this house tour underway. So I had to say popcorn and it was burnt popcorn so my mouth is like so like brown. Anyway, this is the amazing apartment I'm staying in. Ah, so nice. This is the room I'm staying in. I apologize. I did not make the bed. There, the bed is made, kind of. <laughs> And of course I will link in the description below information about this apartment. There's a bathroom here. And then this is the living room. This is where I have been working every day. There is another room here. Anyway, this room has a terrasa. Open it. So the sun is setting here and it's so nice and peaceful. And it has a beautiful kitchen. This is so nice. I just feel like so unworthy, like I don't deserve this. But yeah, that's just my work area. And then we have the living room area. And then you have another terrasa here. And from here you can see the sea. So beautiful, the sun is setting. So let's talk about nightlife. The most iconic club here in Makarska is called Club Deep. 
It's really cool because it's built into a cave. However, I'm not a big fan of Club Deep. It's like one of those places where there's like really loud music, like doof, doof, doof music. You can't have a conversation with anybody. There's a lot of like drunken 21 year olds from the party boats that go to the different islands and they stop here and they just really drunk and they don't stay here so it's not really my scene so if that is your scene you will love it I prefer like smaller clubs and bars more intimate hanging out with locals I highly highly suggest that you check out Marinetta which plays local music um, a lot of locals go there I also suggest Smile. I just discovered that a few nights ago. I went there with my guy and it was so cool. It was playing songs from the 80s, 90s, the 2000s, but it was playing like remix versions of them. So it's great for dancing. It's in the old town. And I suggest Nautica Bar. Uh, it's more of like a loungy type of place, but um, I went there last night as well with my friends. And I had a great time and I highly suggest it. And you should check it out. Dobro jutro guys. Good morning. It is my last day in Makarska and I'm oh so sad but I thought what better way to spend my last day than to come down to the beach and just work from the beach. So in regards to the beaches, I am currently here in October so it's a little bit off season. I've also been here in the height of tourism season and the beaches here are so crowded and right now the beaches here aren't so crowded and it's still relatively warm. It gets cooler at night, of course, um, but it's just so weird to see it like not super crowded. It's like a completely different experience. I highly recommend if you're coming to Croatia, if you're coming to Dalmatia, to maybe come in October, like, or end of September, just to have a more quiet, authentic, humble experience of the town that you're visiting. I also highly suggest that you check out a beach in one of the neighboring towns, like Tuchipi or Pashkovoda, uh, because especially in the height of tourism season, they are not going to be as crowded as the beach here in Makarska. And my favorite, <laughs> there's also a nude beach. It's about like a 15 minute-ish hike. You don't have to be uh, a nude beach goer to go to that beach. You can go to the beach with your clothes on. You just have to be okay with other people being nude. But I highly suggest that beach because it feels like a private beach. And I made a separate video about going to that nude beach, so be sure to check out the description below for that video. I am at the bus station. I'm about to go buy a bus ticket. And basically, with the bus station here, you can travel to anywhere else in Dalmatia, depending on where you're going, between five to 15 euros. Uh, you can also travel to other parts of the Balkans. You can buy a bus ticket to Belgrade, Serbia here, where I live, or Mostar. So the bus station here is also a 10 minute walk from the old town, the beach, the Riva, aka the promenade. So if you're coming here, you don't have a rental car, you don't really know where you're going, don't worry about it, it's not that difficult. Hi guys, I have arrived in the town of Shibanik, Croatia, so I'm going to be continuing my adventures here. So be sure to uh, check my Croatia playlist to see what I'm up to in this town. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like this video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel for weekly uh, videos about living in and traveling in the Balkans. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.